Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial from me. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. And today we will create this mesmerizing crystal animation. And I promise you, this is the only crystal animation you will ever, 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 ever need. Because you will learn the most important thing, how to create organic shapes. You can change everything however you want to get your unique crystal shape. I will explain you how. And you will also learn the most important things, how to create realistic crystal material. So guys, let's go! The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 All right, let's start with the tutorial. First we delete the light, the cube and the camera with the X key. And in the beginning we will create our abstract shape or our crystal shape. And for this we need an icosphere. It looks like this now. Under this tag here you can change the subdivisions and then you get this type of uh, form. And this we will now use with a deformer and we need an array. Here we choose under count 3, something like this. Then we repeat it, take again an array, change the count again to 3, set the x value to 0 and increase this value here to 0 0.7 and the count is 2, sorry. Yeah, we need something like this. And now we repeat it again. And here we change also the x value. And here we change the z value to something higher. Like this. Perfect. <laughs> now we apply all modifier to our 3D object. In the next step, we change here to the edit mode. And now we go under Mesh to separate and by loose parts. Now we have all our objects as single objects here on the side. And now we can switch back to the object mode. And we go under Transform and we choose Randomize Transform. And here we can play now with our, our value, values to something like this. Use the location, the rotation and the scale to get different shapes of our icosphere. And now you can look up what looks natural and what not. And here also change separately the positions of the icospheres to get a cool result in the end. Because it not works perfectly, but we get really unique shapes that we can use perfectly as an organic, um, organic 3D object with not so much effort. And this, I think I delete. Yeah, something like this. It looks cool, I think. And that's it for the 3D objects. That's new. Become part of the Art Invader community on YouTube. Now you have the chance to press the join button and get exclusive benefits. As a member you will get the HDRI and bump and normal maps for all further projects. Mm -hmm. You also get earlier access to new tutorials. Bam! And you have also the chance to exchange ideas with other members. Let's start getting creating together guys. The materials. The materials. Now we came to the cool part. And I was really surprised that this to Blender tutorial not existing with creating this crystal type because it's an all-time classic in uh, Cinema 4D. So it was not so easy to create the, the same material as in Cinema 4D, but I found a good way for us. And we start first, uh, I added a camera already. You can find the camera here. And then you have to uh, find your right position and you have to press this icon to go in the camera view. 
And as you can see, I also added a simple plane as a background, the plane you find here under mesh. And the other thing is I added a light under it and the light from the top. It's a normal area light. I found it here. And I also played here under this tag with the strength. I increased both to 400 and I used a violet and a green color to get more color reflection inside of the glass material later on. And when we are here in the camera settings, um, I changed also the render view under this tag to 1080 by 1080 pixels that we have a uh, square as render um, also as render region and under this tag I changed to cycles and yeah that's it I also changed the maximum samples to a lower value because you don't need it so high for this uh, crystal animation all right I think the most important things are set now we create really the material and for this we go here to the top left corner drag and drop the window to the side and change here to the shader editor so we can see at the same time our render region and our material window and here we have also change to viewport shading 4 and as you can see I already created the material but I will explain you step by step what I did. And yeah, we create for every icosphere separately the material. And if you want to create this material that we need, you have to go uh, choose the icosphere, go here under the material tag, create a new material. And here you have to switch to glass BSDF to get this type of material. And you have also go here under the settings because we create glass material. You have to set a check mark to screen space reflection and subsurface transluency. <laughs> All right, and here you have to choose a, a value 0 0.1, but you can also play with the values. All right, so now to the material part. I show you what I did, material 1. Now it looks really complicated, but the glass PSDF I already showed, shown you how to create it. Duplicate it three times. To see more color in the stone inside, you have also increased the roughness value and choose different roughness value for each glass PSDF. Make the red one the lowest, the green one in the middle and the bluish one the highest. And here you also can play with the IOR value. And here you have also make the red value the lowest, the middle one um, in the middle <laughs> and the bluish one the highest. Uh, if you're asking why it is like this, it is the real physics of how glass reacts. And these are the real values that you have to use to make everything realistic. So use the values because the physics says it is like this to get a perfect result. Then you have to search for add shader to connect the three glass BSDFs together. Then again, because we have only two slots, you need again an add shader to uh, connect all three together. Then you need a mix shader. And here you have to search for glossy BSDF. And the glossy BSDF is for the, that, that you get more glossiness on the stone. Here you um, have only to change the roughness to zero. And really important with this tag here, you can increase and decrease uh, the glossiness of the material. I put it really low because stones and crystals are reflecting, but they are not like mirror or something like this. And um, yeah, in the next step, I again searched for mix shader. And here I use Fresnel. As you can see, you have, the stone looks like this. And with Fresnel, you get um, good outlines that the crystal get really sharp. 
And here you have also play with the IOR value. And in the end, collect it with the material output and the material is ready. And then you can copy and paste the material to every icosphere you have. And then, um, I think the lightning is already good, but I also go here to the world mode and inserted a HDRI map to get a brighter result like this and some reflection of the HDRI um, world around it. And here in the background strength, you can make it brighter and lower. Here I choose the value of five. This is here the environment texture tag. When you press here on this icon, you can add a HDRI map. And the HDRI map looks like this. And then I also searched for mapping and geometry position and played with the rotation values. Um, yeah, to get other results and reflection of the HDRI map in the background. You can't see it because of the plane, but yeah, you can here play around how the HDRI map is in the background positioned. And in the end, the background, I forgot, it's a simple material. You can create a material here if you uh, press on the plus icon. I increase the metallic value to black <laughs> and that's it. So in the next step, we will create the structure on the stone. And for this, you have to select all icospheres. And then, uh, here in this window, and then you have to press join. All right, this window we don't need anymore. And to create the structure, you have to go here under the modifier. And we need the displace modifier. And here we have to create a new displacement. As you can see, something weird is happening. Happen. Because you have to go here under this tag. And here you have to create a new material. And here you can insert your bump map. So something like this. And now we go back here to the modifier tag. And here we change the values to something low and I choose minus 0 0.005 because we want that the texture go inside of the stone and not outside of the stone and for mid-level we choose 0 0.4 but you can play with the values so that's it all right as you can see there are small displacements now but you don't see it really uh, strong because we also have to add a subdivision surface, put it on the top, and now you can see, okay, there are deformation happen. But here we also have to change to simple, and here we change both values to 5. And now we get our perfect structure, organic structure on the stone, as you can see. And that's it for the material part. You want my whole project files? You can get it. Become an Art Invader on Patreon and there you have the possibility to access this and more than 30 other projects that we already created together. And yeah, in this case, thank you so much for all people that already support me there. I'm really happy about the uh, whole positive feedback that I get from you. No, for real. Thank you so much, guys. And now we came to... The animation. Now we came to the last part, the animation part. And it's a simple rotation. But I explain you what I did. First, I changed here the animation duration to 150 frames. These are around 5 seconds. Then... You have to choose the icosphere, press with the right mouse button on it and go to set uh, origin to center of mass that we have the origin perfectly in the middle of our 3D object. Then we need our transform tag here. We set the animation slider to the beginning of the animation. Then we press with the right mouse button on it here to insert a keyframe. Now, 
Then we put the animation slider to the end of the animation. And here we rotate everything by minus 360 degrees. Because I want that everything goes in this direction. Perfect. And in the end I want that the whole animation is linear. And for this we go here to the graph editor. As you can see you have to select our 3D object. And here's our animation curve. You can with your mouse roll um, zoom in and out. And then you have to select every point from our animation. And then you go to key, interpolation mode and linear. And that's it for this part. And now is something special because I also editing my animation uh, later on. And for this crystal tutorial, I think you need the knowledge to get the same result as me. You have to render first the whole animation and you can edit your whole animation in Blender. And I will show you how after rendering. So. When your animation is ready rendered, you have to go here under compositing and you have to put a check mark under use notes. Then you have to search for viewer to see your um, end result. And now you can editing here your crystal. For example, you can search for hue slash saturation and you can search for brightness and contrast. Yeah, or you can also search for glare to get colorful reflections like in my example. Follow me so you don't miss another video from me. A new Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to tag me at Art Invader under your renders. I want to see what cool things you've created. See you in the next week.